So I'm going to give you my secret spots that farm my uh, that fund my operations in WoW for paying for my WoW token to my expansions. I'm going to give all those secrets away completely for free. And some of them you might know and some of them you might want to slow down the speed to see what's going on. So let's get into it. So ultimately, we are trying to get wax. Uh, this is a, a pretty popular farm. There's two major things that we're trying to shoot for here. Uh, I've collected just a lot of wax recently, and then I, uh, obviously as I start recording uh, the screen, it, I can't, there it is. Um, so essentially, I farm up this wax, get away from uh, these little people get my wax and then move on um ultimately we are trying to not engage with these mobs um but i also found that the thing we're really shooting for is one you get these these cave dweller potions which you can either scrape uh, if you're an alchemist or you can sell in the auction house uh, which are kind of nice for some gold farming. Uh, potions sell really well too, or uh, the, the raw mats, like the herbs, uh, are really nice. So you sell those off, especially the tier ones are doing pretty well. Uh, and then as far as the, let me just get this. Uh, and then there's a good achievement to do, which is life on the farm you can uh, do that and uh, find rep while you're doing this. So if you have the renown though, I think you need to be rank 11 uh, in order to find those uh, items. I'm almost uh, finished with the quest. There's a bug right now on the live servers that we cannot complete the quest because it's giving the wrong information or giving the wrong quest or something like that. Um, The main two items that we're shooting for are the profane tinder boxes that drop. You also will get the um, <clears throat> these ringing deeps in get. They sell for four hundred gold, while the other one sells for seven to ten thousand gold. There is also a lot of rep uh, from rares out here. Also, these core al al alloy sell for like 400 gold each and i got like three of them from one thing by the way if you don't know where this is it's all in this farm area right here another area i like is down here uh right by the skittering breach i'm gonna go there now got a little bit of wax here got a little bit of wax here and this is just right uh in this area so that's uh, my farm, and then we'll get into actually churn-ins. You'll want to go to the wax collector and contribute, and you get a lot of dollar stones for these, but you'll get a firelight ruby, which then you can turn into snuff uh, growler. And I usually get the dust, but get whatever works for you. I get about 15 to 16 dust and a few shards. So my second favorite farm is probably in the rain deeps to uh, get to all sorts of uh, materials. The major thing that I'm shooting for is the knoll uh, stones and herbs. Those are kind of the flask um, rare herb that you could get. Also, there is wax, so that's kind of a nice to thing too. So you can kind of get both of those. As far as what I'm shooting for is uh, probably the bismos and the i think it's lure something lure hope or lure uh something the reason being is these tier three sells for roughly 300 to 400 gold a pop so it's a nice little um find there if you get a tier three pop and then you can spec into those kind of things so you can get more of the no lotus Sorry, null drop is the alert drop is what I was looking for. And then abysmal, 
this month so that you can get undamaged null stones. The null stones sh shoot for roughly, uh, like I said, like 3,000 to 4,000 gold a pop. So that is quite nice. But uh, this is my next favorite spot. I'm getting quite a nice amount of gold and herbs here. So definitely check this area out. Before I show you my third spot, I do use alchemy uh, because a lot of these things, like the tier three, the cells, all four of them for 15,000 gold. The uh, This one, the tier three sells for 16 to 20,000. Also some of these um, flasks, the tempered potions, sell for about 15,000 gold. So uh, keeping your tier three potions to make things are quite nice. The only limiting factor is your concentration, but as you level up your gear through crafting orders, then you're able to uh, get this. So I'm about to craft my, um, I think it's my mixing rod for a blue set. So uh, let's get into my third favorite, which is fishing. So this is my last favorite, and I'm not gonna go over exactly what I do. Uh, if you want to slow down the video so you can see exactly uh, the magic that is what this farming is, uh, then definitely do it if you want. So uh, I'm going to throw my little fishies in here. I do have... Uh, cooking I do have extra fish and I will be doing uh, throwing more fish for this magic to happen I should have got some more uh, like I'm I could get plus 10 to fishing which actually does help quite a bit uh, but this is the magic of fishing because each of these fish that we're fishing up right now are making, I believe, about 500 gold, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, these aren't the fishing that we want, but we are going for uh, the Awoken, which um, I usually get like maybe three or four in a row. Uh, so as you can see, this is a nice little farming spot. Uh, each of these are 500 gold each, so 500, 500, 500, that's uh, almost, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Uh, so in six, eight catches, less than five minutes, I'm making three or 4,000 gold uh, fishing, so not a bad fishing spot, I would say. So if you found this guide helpful, then remember to like and subscribe, smash the like button, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Join our community, which is in the description, and I'll see you inside.